What's going on guys? I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the non-retina 2012 MacBook Pro. Now, this is a 15 inch 2.7 gigahertz 16 gigs of OWC RAM. I'm going to be installing two 256 Samsung 830 series SSDs into this machine. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stripe those together in a RAID array. So without further ado, let's get let's get to it. Here's the machine. It's, it's nothing like you haven't seen before on YouTube. Everybody's done an unboxing. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. I think mine's not that great because this is my first YouTube video. Considering the quality of my camera, we we may have some issues with y'all viewing this in uh, in high res. Kind of sucks, but this is what I got. Upon opening this thing, I've noticed a little bit difference between the 2011 model and this one. You can see that the box everything's the same you know you get the everything included the documentation the MagSafe adapter this isn't the MagSafe 2 uh, the MagSafe 2 goes on the new MacBook Airs and uh, the MacBook Pro Retina uh, back to what I was going to say about the difference the box is a little bit different the documentation is a, a bit smaller Apple has used a little bit less material in making that um, this this film inside is a li little bit thinner um, and there there it is pretty much now we're going to get into unboxing the SSDs and the OWC data doubler. Here's one of the SSDs and the data doubler. Just a heads up, I've already placed one of the 256 830s in the data doubler. OWC is pretty good about giving you everything that you need to tear out your optical drive and put in a spinning hard drive or another SSD like I am doing here. They provide you with an instruction booklet, so you don't even need access to the internet to complete this. Um, Jonathan from TLD Today does a great step-by-step -step video, and his camera is five times better than mine, and he does a really great job on uh, explaining the steps on what you need to do and how you go about getting your operating system up and functional. Here we are tearing out the, well, here I am tearing out the CD optical drive, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in the data doubler with one of the Samsungs already attached. Go ahead and finish that up and then we're going to put in the second one and then I'm going to go ahead and stripe these together without showing you how to do them because it's already been done. Like I've said, go ahead and search the fastest MacBook on the planet and you'll be taken to TLD today, Jonathan, and he'll show you step by step on how to do this. But I'm going to finish this video up with some screenshots and things of that nature. I hope you enjoyed my video. This is my first one. Uh, I hope in the future to get a better camera and make better videos for you. Maybe even do some instructional videos on how to do some things like this. Again, thanks for watching my video and I hope you have a great day.